We have breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into it. Major breaking report out of Washington, D.C. Republican Representative Matt Gates says that there is now more than enough evidence to impeach Joe Biden from office or at least open up an impeachment inquiry so there can be a discovery so that we can discover if there was a true crime committed or not. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says, I don't think that we should do that because that would disrupt the nation. So may, Matt, Matt Gates now gave a rebuttal and said, if Kevin McCarthy doesn't know, doesn't open the impeachment inquiry, then he is going to call for a vote of no confidence and have Kevin McCarthy removed as Speaker of the House. Matt Gates went on to say that he will also vote to shut the government down and not fund it to stay open if an impeachment inquiry isn't open into Joe Biden by next week. Gates says that he doesn't want to fund a government where the president is very corrupt, who takes bribes and raises crackheads. Also, Marjorie Taylor Greene has commented on this that she and many other of her colleagues in the House have all agreed that they will vote to shut the government down if Biden's impeachment inquiry isn't started ASAP. <clears throat> now, let's take a look at this really quickly. It took 15 votes to get McCarthy to become speaker. 15 votes. We, we all remember those. I think it was like almost 48 hours that they were in the House chambers voting, voting, arguing, voting, voting some more, making deals. And what part of the deal was that they impeach Joe. Kevin McCarthy had to agree and promise that Joe Biden will be impeached. And he made those promises. And the other part of the deal was that just one person can bring a vote to the House of no confidence. Meaning... Just Matt or Lauren Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene. Any one of them can bring a vote to the House and have them voted out like this. And then they vote for a new speaker. And I like Byron Donalds. This is why we love Matt Gates. He has been saying the same things and acting the same way for as long as I've been watching him in the House. He's been calling to impeach Joe Biden from the very beginning. He's been vocal about it. And this is one of the reasons that he didn't he actually didn't want McCarthy to become speaker because he said McCarthy is weak. Do you guys remember when you they they would kept asking him, why won't you vote for McCarthy? He kept saying, because McCarthy is weak. He's gonna give us a lot of promises, but he's not going to deliver. He's a weak man. And now we're seeing it firsthand. This is heating up. It's getting crazy. Plus, we got the whole Biden, Hunter Biden facing 10 years now, an indictment possibly coming next week. It's heating up, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll keep you updated.